Hey guys, I'm excited to share something that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now and uh, it involves the Pi Pico, an OLED screen, and a couple of buttons. As you can see, it draws a Mandelbrot. I don't know if you're familiar with the Mandelbrot set. It takes a lot of calculations to draw every single pixel because every single pixel takes a whole bunch of iterations. By the way, I have to apologize for the flicker. It doesn't do that in real life, it's this camera, but that seems to be the best I can do. I think it's just amazing that a $4 microcontroller, not a computer, not a Raspberry Pi, not a PC with GPU card, can draw this. I make it kind of like an etch and sketch. So this button here controls, oh, let me zoom in a little bit, huh? So originally I just have it draw one of those. It's pretty cool, but I wasn't satisfied to that and I want to be able to like zoom into it. And originally, of course, I wanted to do it in real time, but this guy is just not fast enough. It's an interpreted language. Python is interpreted. I'm sure if I write this in C or assembly language, it will be a lot faster. But it's fun to play with MicroPython, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> the, this guy here basically controls the y-axis, so that moves it up and down to decide where you want to zoom. This one moves it left and right. And once you get some area in there, you can use this guy here to actually decide how far to zoom in. So you can have a bigger area or a smaller area, meaning you're zooming in even further in. So let's put it like around there or something. And then you press the plus button here and to zoom in. Um, by the way, my friend Jeff uh, showed me this guy here. I'll, I shared this in my previous unboxing. The button itself is normal, but it comes with this little transparent things. So I was able to print out on my printer and then now all the things have labels. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, it zooms in like that. And you could keep on zooming in. As you know, the Mandelbrot is pretty, it's unlimited. So you could zoom in as deep as you want and it will just keep on getting more and more intricate. And this is one of the things that I, I thought was pretty cool. Like you could see that the resolution is on all that great right there because I, that, that's how it, I was able to get it faster. And this button here I added later on after I discovered I didn't like the speed. But if you once you find an area that you like, you could press that button and then it draws it in higher resolution. So yeah, um, it was a lot of fun to uh, figure this out. I had to learn about um, frame buffer and to, you know, to be able to do this cursor here, basically I'm having two bitmaps one that has the actual mental brought and the other one that actually has the uh, the cursors here and once you get you know let's slow it down again i'm gonna speed let's speed it up again so we can zoom in faster so now it's gonna zoom in it doesn't seem like that much zoomed in let's keep on zooming in there you go so that looks a lot different than before i think um this area on the left looks more interesting. So I'm going to move it over here and I say, and pressing this button says, I want to center around that. So you press that button. Now it's going to center around that area. That's a lot more interesting. Let's zoom in a little bit more and then we'll uh, do a high res. Go put it down a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger. So that should zoom in that area. So we'll center that. Yeah. So, and then we'll press this button. And then that will actually draw it in a higher resolution. I think it's pretty amazing. It's a single color display. It would look a lot better if it's multicolor, but this is what I got. And it was a lot of fun. So I'll share the source code so you guys could look at it if you're interested. I'll leave you guys a whole bunch of Android that I created with this guy. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>